What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Duran and we're here to talk Celtics basketball as the Boston Celtics fall 111 to 116 to the Sacramento Kings and man I just want to tell you guys these 10 o'clock games are kicking my ass they are very much kicking my ass and so if these videos are kind of late a day late that, that's just how they will be guys I, I'm trying to keep up but man these this 10 o'clock thing I'm not really liking this West Coast trip but let's go ahead and get to the uh, the game. You know what I like, what I didn't like. Um, let me go ahead and get this out the chest first. Uh, Jeff Teague stinks. Uh, Jeff Teague is playing at an all time low level right now, from where he was at the beginning of the season to now. He's just completely. I, I don't even know what to say. He's just rattled. He has no confidence. He's playing like a rookie. I mean, he was one of six today. He had a turnover. I mean, he just wasn't good today, honestly. And you know, if you've charted, let's just look at this from a, a tunnel vision. He has uh, what been in what 50 plus pick and roll situations this entire year. 20 games, 21 games. He's been in 50 plus awesome uh, pick and roll situations. He has only hit the roll man on these pick and roll plays once. All year. He has only hit the roll man once. If you charted every single pick and roll play that he has been a part of throughout these entire 20 something games he has only hit the roll man once i mean that is just bad it's just bad and you know what jason tatum is a very easy player to play with you know he plays off the ball on ball he passes um he sets picks for players but man does jeff t make it look hard to play with jason tatum he does like he is it's just ruining it he's ruining the jason tatum plus bench rotation and he's just bad they've got to replace this guy i mean honestly i felt like we we also have to give some accountability to uh danny ainge you had one job this offseason, and that was to upgrade Brad Wanamaker, and you brought in a guy that's, I mean, not that much better, like, just as good as Brad Wanamaker. It's not good, and especially in a league that's just kind of overflowing with point guards right now. That, like, literally, the, the, the amount of point guard level play in the NBA is not really hard to find. It's not hard to find a decent point guard in the NBA that can start. And Jeff Teague just doesn't look good. He doesn't even look like he should be in the NBA right now. They've got to rectify this. They've got to trade him. They've got to move on. Um, we are in win-now situation. He cannot play like this. I mean, it cannot be... I mean, let me just talk about this team in general. I am starting to get fed up with just watching, you know, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown drag this team. I'm so ready for Kimba Walker to get healthy and one, get off this back-to-back -back thing. And, and two, I'm ready for Marcus Smart to come back healthy. I'm ready for Peyton Pritchard to come back. I'm, ready, I'm waiting for us to get our guys back because, man, it's just not pretty with the depth that we have. Trayvon Mortar stinks. He stinks, but he's better than Teague. <laughs> I mean, in this game, he was better than Teague, but he stinks. And also, Carson Edwards stinks, but he was better than Tremont Waters, and he was better than Je Jeff Teague in this game. And the, all three of these guys stink. Like, I, when this team gets back healthy, they shouldn't play Jeff Teague anymore. That's just the point I'm at. Like, he is not playable anymore. They should just stop playing him. They've got to move on. They've got to find an upgrade. I've always said, I've already said Lonzo Ball. They've got to figure out a way to get Jeff Teague out of here. They've got to figure out a way to replace him. I mean, I think he, I think he's trade eligible in about four more days. But man, this is just bad. It's just bad play. You know, overall, you know, we came down to the, the last, the last bit. And let me just talk about the game in its totality it's just that it's a it's a complete indictment on our defense like we cannot continuously go into games giving up 112 115 110 points every single game every game is close and i get i get it i get it they were missing pieces i get it they were hurt i get it this was a back-to-back -back. the kings stink i'm just gonna pause the kings stink the sellers and um the Aaron fox grilled them and also one thing i want to say about the kings tyrese halliburton is going to be way 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 better than the Aaron fox he will they should trade the Aaron fox like right now um, tyrese halliburton is going to be way way better than him let me just put that yeah he, he, he's going to be a superstar that kid is i mean amazing tyrese halliburton destroyed us he looks so comfortable in the nba in just 20 something games he's so smart this is a guy i really really wanted to follow us but you know the the King snatched him up before I pick. I really like Tyrese Halliburton coming out of college, and he looks amazing in the league, man. He just looks so comfortable. 
And also, Harrison Barnes. We all talk about, you know, the trade options. Harrison Barnes look good. 24, 5, and 6. 7 of 17. I'll take that as a fifth option on his team. You know, I'll take 17 points per game as a fifth option on the Boston Celtics right now. Harrison Barnes looks really, really good. He knows his roles. He's a champion. He's a vet. He makes a lot of sense for that trade player exception coming up. But, you know, we're getting off talking. We're talking about this game. The defense just wasn't good enough for me. Um, Tristan Thompson is coming along. Like, Tristan Thompson is actually starting to play really good right now. Daniel Tice, even kill game. Um, it's just Jeff T. He, he must look horrible. And I <laughs> and I keep coming back there. Jeff T, Traymond Waters. Yeah, he's got to stink. You know, Grant Warner was, um, Grant Williams fine. But again, another up and down game from him. And Javante Green's okay. Like, we just need depth. I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm, it, it's taken a lot out of me to watch this thin team and then watch Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown literally go to war every single night and just be dragging Lego parts like literally just dragging toy parts that make up something and and begging somebody to step up and be a third option on his team it's really hard to watch and we're just gonna have to deal with it until the trade deadline we are we have to deal with this for another month another month of this like it's just it, it, it hurts to watch i mean i'm at the point where i'm i'm getting close to saying that danny age you know he botched the offseason all you had to do was get about above average talent around jason tatum and jalen brown and he didn't do it he didn't and i i, I say this because i'm not gonna i'm not gonna completely give up i'm not gonna i'm getting close to saying that and he better make a move at the deadline or i'm getting close to calling out danny age i'm i really am getting close because man that jeff teague deal is just bad you've got to get off that deal Tristan Thompson looks better he has to play better for me to continue to just say I want him on this team because he uh, he did not have a good January he's starting February off well let's continue to do that continue to put good games together and we'll see but man man they, they've got to find more depth pieces they, they, they do they just they've got to find more depth pieces well guys I have nothing left for the video as always like comment and subscribe peace